Good morning, good morning, good morning, my royal family. Good morning, kings and queens and princes and princesses. Shalom to you. Shalom to the brothers and sisters of Israel. We are the tribe of Judah, and we are in our last days. We all talk about the last days is coming. The last days is here now. Uh, I know this is Sunday. This is not Sabbath. Sabbath was yesterday. I meant to do this yesterday, but I had to work at my um, full-time job almost all day yesterday. and took up my whole day, and I was just... Going through some things, but um, I'm here and I'm gonna come back at you this morning. Now, I want to um, talk to y'all. I got so much to talk to y'all about. We gonna get to some scriptures as well. Um, but we living we living the last days and time is here. Um, I know everybody will talk about Montgomery and what takes place in Montgomery, but um, that Montgomery, Alabama thing. Let's talk about that first. That Montgomery, Alabama thing was a wake up call. It's a wake up call from Travis Judah to wake up. They realize that we are his people. They realize that we need to wake up. We need to see who ourselves for who we are. We need to stop letting the children of Esau to teach us. We need to stop allowing them to, to put fear in our soul, to put fear in our hearts. We got to come back to know who we are. It's time for us to rise up and understand that the end is here. It's time that God, our Father, Most High Elohim, all praise to the Most High, he is trying to get us wake up right now to seek attention, to re redesign, reclaim, repent, and reform. It's time to know who we are today. If you got a sin in your life that you're battling, we all balance some sins and the demonic forms, but we got to allow those things to go. It's time for us to come back. It's time for us to get in these scriptures and apply ourselves to the Bible. We got to start playing church. We got to stop trying to be um, something that we are not. Be who you are that God gifted you to be. If you're a chosen one, do God's will. Do God's command. I know that we all fall short, but it's time for us to start praying and repent and ask the Lord for forgiveness and not continue to willfully sin. The money spirit see everything you got in, in the spiritual room. He sees everything that God's going to bless you and to send you. But we got to stop that and we got to fix that now. Another thing, I am working on... Um, I do have a laptop. I am working on getting a camera for a laptop and um, getting two monitors if I can have a better video production, a better camera visual instead of using my cell phone and have a nice little setup. And um, I'm working on that. So it's coming. So y'all I'll be having longer videos coming soon. And it could be short, a little 15, 30 minutes and all that. It could be about an hour, like some of YouTube content creators do. And, um, and it's going to get better, you know, God willing. Um, but yeah, man, that Alabama incident was something that we need to know that it was, it's a wake up call. It's a wake up call and we need to know how to take heed of the warners and, um, and, and, and be rightful for it. Another thing, I tell you something else is bigger than that. Um, it was bigger than that Montgomery incident. We had an event that take place. Recently, that nobody really talked about, that took place um, with America and um, Saudi Arabia. Uh, America and Saudi Arabia agreed with a new peace deal to take place in Israel. I'm trying to find that scripture for you right now. Um, I'm trying to find that scripture right now. I, sh I know I should have been prepared. It's a scripture I want to read regarding, regarding what's going on uh, with um, with the peace deal that the U.S. had with Saudi Arabia regarding Israel. I had a scripture pull up yesterday. Y'all please be aware of me. Uh, I didn't see that scripture, but... Anyway, it talks about it in the book of Thessalonians. Um, this is some of it right. This is some of it right here. Second um, Thessalonians chapter two, uh, verse eight, and this and then shall that a wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, and shall destroy, destroy with the brightness of his coming. Mm hmm. Oh, yes. We live in a time now that things are 
coming to fruition. And um, and people that, that love to go to church, they don't understand that the Bible says right here on First Thessalonians chapter five, um, verse twenty one here says, "Prove all things, hold fast that which is good, obtain from all appearance of evil." So all y'all who like to look at porn, well, corn, because you know YouTube, um, who like to look at horror movies, some of these movies and TV shows, they can attack and destroy your spirit. If you're a chosen one, you cannot be looking at these wicked things, especially porn. Because it's going to make you for men. It's going to make you masturbate. It's going to make you think about sex and lust. Woman, make you orgasm. Make you want to chase for men. Or maybe homosexual will go for women. Both is a sin. You got to realize that some of these movies and television that we watch is not good for our spirit. It can destroy your spirit. Destroy your mind. That's what Martin Luther King did. Uh, rest in peace. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. says that a mind is a terrible thing to waste. And people like us, try with Judah, it's time for us to seek knowledge. The Bible is for us. The basic instruction before we leave earth is the acronym for Bible. It is for us to know who we are. It's for us to wake up, read God's words in this Bible that he sent the prophets to write down and read and put in this Bible. It's for us to see, us to grow and adapt and acknowledge our Father in heaven, Most High Elohim and His Son, Yahshua. It's time for us to know who we are. In 2 Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14, if we come together and humble ourselves and turn from wicked ways, the most high God will crack that sky and heal the land right now. And speaking of repentance, we have a repentance rally. A congregation of repentance. And, um, let me see if I can find, find that picture here. And I'm uh, sorry if I jumped a little too fast. Um, there's a rally here called the uh, United Nations by uh, Yasharel Global Day of Repentance, Return, and Restoration. Repent the ceremony and events at the Freedom Plaza at Washington, D.C. September 2nd, which is a Saturday at 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. So if you will come out on the Sabbath day of September 2nd from 9 to 2 p.m., from 9 in the morning to 2 p.m. in Washington, D.C., it's a global day of repentance. It's time for everybody, even though you're a sinner and you want to change, come out there and confess yourself. Every tongue shall raise and shout and praise the Most High God, our Father. And we shall shalom and salute to one another with love and greet and praise to one, our only Father in heaven. And he shall come. And this is going to be a spiritual paradigm, a spiritual shift for all of us to know who we are. So the tribe of Judah... Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. We are the Jews. It's time for us to rise up and know who we are. It's time for us to start playing. The Alabama was a wake-up call. Racism never died. Racism has always been here. It never went nowhere. As 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 um as Romans 8 and 28 says, everything shall come for its good. Everything got its purpose for its good. And this is going to be a good atmosphere if you all come together. And I'm going to try to make it that day. If God willing. I know it's around the first of the month. And I live by myself in this, in this apartment here. And I got to pay rent. But there ain't no excuse. I'm going to try to make it up there somehow. But it's time for us to come up there. And, and worship and honor our Father. But like I said, man. I, I got to find that scripture. I'm going to do another video today. Uh, about that Saudi Arabia and the U.S. signing a new peace deal with Israel. And it says, it says that in the book of uh, Thessalonians, I believe it's 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 8, I believe. I'm going to try to look for it again. But everything that happens in this world today, the Bible call it, the Bible says it. The Bible said it was going to happen. It said it was going to happen, man. Everything, that happened, everything the Bible says is happening right now, right before our eyes. It's happening right now. We're really living in our last days, man. Last years is here right now. So it's time to get your house in order. If people who ain't want to um, be with you, who don't want to listen to the truth, cut them off. Even though it could be your mother, your mother or father, it could be your siblings. If they don't understand worshiping it, uh, to Yah and they want to go ahead and go to church and, and hear that false doctrine and be a religious spirit, and not getting out of the church in the sermon. By any means, go ahead. But me, I done cut them off, man. 
my own family, my own mother and sister had turned against me, cussed me out, cursed me out, and tell me off for, for, for trying to send a, 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 a spiritual video at them. They, got, they feel like they got attacked. It's like a demonic spirit. This got into the soul, which is, which it is. We're not wrestling. The Bible says in Ephesians chapter 6, verses 11 and 12, say we are not wrestling out against flesh and blood, but principalities, spiritual wickedness in heavenly places. So, these demonic spirits is within, within inside them, attack me and trying to hurt my heart. And I, I ain't gonna lie, it did hurt me. But you know what? I done, I done cried out and I let it out. I talked to the Lord. And I know that I'm gonna gain strength. I know it's a bigger blessing coming from. I know that it is not them. It is a demonic spirit that coming inside them to allow them to attack me, destroy me, and um, to make me fall in line with them to go back to do what the old Terrence the Man used to do. But now Terrence the Man had moved on from that. Terrence the Man has newly reformed. Terrence the Man who had rededicated his life to Christ, the Yahweh, last year in March. Is trying to move forward and, and, and taking it serious and walking this new path. I'm trying my best to stay woke. He opened my eyes to see. He opened my eyes to have the sermon. Sometimes I fall short, but I do my best to pray and repent. And that's how we gotta act. We gotta know how to act to repent and to reform, knowing that we fall short. That we gotta pick ourselves up, repent, and ask the Lord for forgiveness and follow His word of command. Sometimes we may have to fast for a couple of days or for a couple of hours. You know, you, you, you if you can't do dry fast, you can do water fasting and pray and humble yourself while doing it and be self-approved. That's how you got to work, man. We battle with demons every day. Demons is on a mission to destroy you and take you out. It's like a lion that seeking to find who devour. But the good lion like us, we are the Mufasa of the tribe of Judah. We got to destroy that scar-like lion that comes in our life. We got to fight back. We got to claw back. And let them know, hey, the tribe of Judah, we got to rise up. So give God thanks that he allow you to live and see that day. To give God, give the most high Elohim all the praises. And the son, Yahshua, Mashida, all the praises for allowing you to see that day. I'm going to come back at you later on today. I'm going to have to cut this just a little short. Um, But like I said, I'm going to try to get a better... um. I'm going to get a, a better camera for my laptop. If I can do a straight live on how to record. i got monitors, two monitors coming in in the desk. And I could be sitting properly on my desk and chair to talk live. Like how my brother, uh, fellow brothers and sisters do any content created on YouTube. Uh, I'm going to get a special shout out to... Um, There's a, there's a lot of people I watch, man. and I'm going to do this one person real quick because I ran out of time. Um, Mark the Messenger. Thank you so much, brother, for inspired me to do this and for helping me see who I am. Before I had got rededicated, I had watched you around like autumn of twenty twenty one and, and um something my spirit has told me to start watching you and and, and and seek knowledge and knowing that the church ain't really been teaching me that and I thank you so much man, Mark the Messenger and um there's so many other people I want to thank. But um Mark the Messenger, you the man bro. You the man, my king. So long to you. Shalom to y'all. Y'all have a good morning, a blessed day. Stay out of trouble. Pray, repent, and give the most high all of him and y'all his praise. Hallelujah. Glory.